Back then, the board was in the process of hiring a standard manager for the SPCA. When Robin applied, we were all stunned that Robin, coming from the legal profession, with all that experience and all that knowledge and all that uh, power in the community, would even consider coming to the SPCA as executive director. And I remember quite well asking Robin privately, why are you here? She said, quote, because I believe I can make a difference. It was Robin uh, and the staff that, that, that devised the strategy to help the city with a difficult animal control, animal shelter problem, uh, to make the city better, and to also really embrace the notion that we would be a, a place that would strive for policies that would lead us not to have to euthanize any animals. And uh, Robin really put the SBCA in Richmond on the map, not just in, in our community or statewide, but nationally. She stood up and led the fight to make animal fighting a felony in Virginia, and to make animal cruelty a felony in Virginia, and to prohibit puppy mills in Virginia, and to prohibit selling dogs and cats on the side of the road and in parking lots in Virginia. She had the courage to throw away the old notion that it's our job to give animals a merciful death and instead focus on finding ways to actually save them. Robin's leadership in transforming the Richmond SPCA into a no-kill humane center, one of the first in the country, is her greatest single achievement. Her leadership style is inclusive in the thinking process of how best to save pet lives at the Richmond SPCA. So by being inclusive, no one is left out. Everyone understands the process in depth from the very beginning, and everyone is on board with the same goal. Robin has been my mentor in a number of ways, but particularly in advocacy and legislative issues. She is not afraid to take a tough position because that position ultimately is going to result in immense life saving for animals. Her ability to communicate that vision is why we have the quality and loyalty of staff that we do and it's why we have the incredible board members that we do and it's the reason we have a donor base that is impressive by anyone's standards. Over the years I have seen Robin in many many situations, difficult situations, celebratory situations, legal situations, and she has the ability to really motivate and speak and guide to each of those situations. Robin has done an amazing job of really broadening the Richmond SPCA's stance on issues affecting all animals. And our constituents expect us to be the voice of compassion and to be advocating for all animals. And that's really a, a testament to Robin that that expectation has come to be a part of her reputation, not only in this community, but across the state and nationally. Almost everything that we talk about being a best practice for shelters across the country is something that the Richmond SPCA already does. Because of Robin's leadership over the last 20 years, there are all of these amazing programs at the Richmond SPCA to help people find a pet and to keep their pet. Veterinary care, behavioral help, foster care programs, massive amounts of spaying and neutering, among other crucial programs focused on pet retention. Well, after we went no-kill in 2002, it became painfully clear that while we were saving the lives of all the healthy homeless animals in our care, far too many sick and injured animals were dying simply because their owners didn't have the wherewithal, the financial wherewithal, to give them veterinary care. So we knew we had to find a solution and Robin put together a great team along with many generous donors. And the Susan M. Markell Veterinary Hospital opened in early 2016. A great leader can change styles and match them to the situation and then get a better outcome for achievement. And I know no one better than Robin Starr who's capable of doing that. She is well able to communicate the importance of how we treat animals and that human-animal bond and always, always ensures the best for the animals at the Richmond SPCA. And she is so well able to impart that. While 
we can count the number of animals that have been saved at the Richmond SPCA over the last 20 years. It's much harder to quantify the animals that have been saved on the south side of Virginia and in Appalachia and on the eastern shore and the middle peninsula and in every corner of Virginia that Robin's impact is being felt. If you ask me, tell me a transformative leader, I mean, I can think of leaders in a lot of different areas, but Robin Starr would be one of the people that would come to mind immediately. Robin is a visionary who leads by example. Her passion, courage, and determination are motivating and inspiring. She really has become the face of humane societies, and obviously the Richmond SPCA and beyond. That's really what she personifies. She has sought to truly build a society for the prevention of cruelty to animals. If I had one word to describe Robin, relentless. Dynamic. Compassionate. Visionary. Committed. Courageous. Inspirational. Unstoppable. 